hey out there in uh, YouTube land and Facebook and my gram. Uh, full throttle kind of guy checking in. Got a quick uh, weekend project that I'll be doing. Might be able to get to the track today. Don't know. It is open. Uh, COVID protocols have been loosened. Your boy got his two shots. Got the little Moderna buggy done. Uh, so did that. Anyways, if you have a Nova, and I'm only speaking about the 73, 74, that's what I know of, and this is what I'm going to be speaking about today. If you've gotten a car from unknown sources or who swapped what from years past, sometimes you find hybrid parts in there. When I have the small block, now when I have the big block, one commonality that I'm having, I cannot get the secondaries to fully open. And no matter how much you try to adjust the cable, the bracketry, try to make other adjustments in that, it will never open all the way and never engage right. I've checked other people's 73, 74, even some earlier 70 and such uh, Nova pages, but what I did find was the six cylinder cable, while it will work to get your car to do whatever, it's not the right cable. It's a little too long. So the cure for that is you actually have to get the V8 cable. Yes, there's a difference. I know some people out there are going to say, well, they figured out how to make their six cylinder cable work. God love you. Hey, congratulations. But there's scores and scores and scores of people that don't have that ability, aren't that lucky, don't have the patience to be there and adjust that. We're just going to put the right part in. So what you're going to need for the swap, uh, one thing definitely is you need to get yourself a set of the Holly um, carb linkage uh, adapters, the balls themselves. Uh, so because without that, you will not be able to attach your brand new cable. It's a little different style of cable where it actually slides over the ball adapter itself and then locks into place. There's not a, a clip or a screw per se. Um, as far as for the part number, the one that I found, and it is available to AutoZone relatively cheap, it's like 25 bucks. You know, so for 25 bucks, why not just put the right part in, right? Um, it's uh, through Pioneer. It's Charlie Alpha Dash. 8473 in case it shows like an inverted picture so it's not on stock it's something you have to order through their parts hub you get it in about two three days or whatever so this is going to give you a little bit of a look see of what i'm doing i'll be replacing this cable and that was part of the telltale sign that this is not the right cable that shield on the V8 cables, that shield is not there. I don't know if that's a Corvette cable or later style Camaro cable. Don't have a clue, but that ain't it. So I'll be disconnecting this. Oh, look at that. I already get the ball there. Cool. Anyways, I'll be disconnecting this, putting the bolt back on because that's part of the throttle return assembly, and just replacing this whole cable. There's a bolt way up against the firewall. And so part of that is I'm going to have to go under the dash and it's easier to loosen the cable first because the one thing that people don't ever cover when it's coming time to replace that cable is the gas pedal, the throttle assembly itself. It's solid on top. So there's the cable has a little retaining ball at the end. Well, how does it get held in there? Nobody really explains it. I'm a member of a 73, 74 uh, page on, on Facebook. And so what was explained to me is that there's a little tiny retaining clip in the uh, throttle assembly on, on the floorboard. Once that cable backs out, you can push this little clip out and it has a slit in it where you can pull the cable in and out through it. And then when you pull the cable back in, the new cable, it actually anchors itself and the slit closes up and locks into place. So that's how it's held in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the work. I ain't got a clue how long it's gonna take. First time I've you know, replaced a cable like this, but I'm looking forward to getting a full, ironically enough, throttle assembly as opposed to, you know, a little bit over half, you know, two thirds throttle. So I think this car will be a handful with a, you know, 
secondaries opening up and me and is running around on primaries and a little bit of secondary in that. But um, I'll let you know how the work goes. I'll get the old cable out and kind of you can take a look at it. But uh, again, me just checking in, let you know everything's cool. But I'll show you the new digs that I'm at, working out in the country. Did the President's of the United States of America uh, moved out to the country. So avoid noisy neighbors or nosy neighbors and people complaining about cars starting in the whole nine yards out here it's so lax man you got there go out to your back 40 and pop off some caps if you want nobody cares nobody's gonna bat an eye so yes i am second amendment friendly so there's that anyways here's the whole fleet there's my stang banger those are the neighbors across the way there but get tired of dealing with people and whatnot sometimes you need a little bit of elbow room so elbow room elbow room we got it anyways i'll keep you guys posted if we can manage to make it to the track tonight i may have an update of course i forgot my sd card so i had to do this on my phone but um wish me luck and i'll check back in uh full throttle kind of guy checking out um have a great weekend stay safe if you're new to the web page thanks for joining appreciate it um if you're just stopping on by for a cup of coffee and just want to see what's up, uh, please like and subscribe, join. Let me know who you are. You know, drop me a comment and I'll, I'll get hit you back up. So anyways, uh, have a good one. It's a beautiful Saturday. Get out there and work. Have some fun in your projects. Thanks. Bye. Here's some bonus footage. Uh, that's the throttle or excuse me, the gas pedal assembly, the throttle cable or the accelerator cable sticking through the firewall, the plastic retaining clip that I was telling you about. It's right there. It just pushes out from the back of the pedal. Nobody shows you this. I, I've, n I've not seen it to date. I've only shown it, you know, or seen it in the car and the whole bit. But again, there's that clip. Be careful pulling it apart because sometimes they're brittle. They will break, especially if people have been uh, go grilling the gas pedal and really knocking it out. So I'll go ahead. I'm going to pull this thing out. Once I get out, I'll do a side-by-side -side on the, on the uh, throttle cables okay side by side comparison the old incorrect cable it was so bent up you can see how much additional length it tried squeezing into that one small space so again incorrect cable i'm guessing it's a 600 cable honestly it could be from anything who knows i mean it's a gm product so here's the retaining screw that goes on the firewall side of the engine compartment to retain it. That would be right here. Here's the accelerator pedal retaining clip, and there's the slit. So again, be careful with it. These things are fragile. You know, after however many years, and sometimes they get hairline cracks. Um, your local parts store uh, should have it in the I did it section, and you can get a replacement for it if you need to in a pinch. Otherwise, you got to go on to, to eBay. And somebody's going to charge you seven bucks, not including shipping, to get a replacement clip of this thing. Which is, in my mind, freaking ridiculous. Honestly. 49 cent clip. Bro, head on down to, you know, Ace Hardware Store. Because, you know, Ace is the place. And I'm sure they got something that's somewhat similar to this. And you could fab it. I mean, honestly, how hard is it? You know, it's just the end cap with a, a slit and something that fits into this hole with some relief uh, grooves in it. So... You know, short of me stopping to, you know, do video uh, documentation and kind of figure things out. Honestly, this has got to be one of the fastest jobs known to mankind to put in the correct cable. Um, if it wasn't for me goofing around in the whole bit, I probably could have got this thing done in like under 30 minutes. But I'm going the extra mile for you. <laughs> so in case you don't have that full secondary adjustment, don't thank me. Just fix your cable. You'll be thanking yourself for doing some nice smoky burnouts and then blasting guys at streetlights. Uh, at the track or something. I don't mean streetlights on the street. I, you know, I don't want to promote, you know, how do you say, illegal street activities. But sometimes you got to do what you got to do. All right. Okay. Here's the finished job. Uh, in proper length, not kinked or anything crazy. So uh, the only thing is it takes a two person job to confirm that the secondaries are in fact open. But it's already a lot shorter, smoother travel. Uh, so, you know, like I said, I'll have a little bit of adjustment to do on it. So I would say if this job, if you're new to doing the work or you want to fix your cable yourself, 
the hardest part of the job is that little clip. It's going to be a two-handed job to get the clip back on the cable if you don't end up breaking it. Mine did not break. I was careful. Uh, so, you know, honestly, uh, five, uh, rating a one to five Novas, I put this job like a two Nova. That's how easy it was. And like I said, it's affordable to do. So why run with a wonky ass cable? The last thing I have to do is put my uh, kill switch in for the system. So just gonna drill a little hole for the rod to power down the car. And then I think I might take it to the car wash first and blow some of the crud off of it. I've got my uh, street radials. So just gotta dig them out of the, the trailer. But um, moving right along, so that job should take like five minutes. But other than that, again, the mystery of the Nova throttle cable uh, connection. This may also apply to the Omegas, the Venturas, and also the Buick Apollos. So anybody in the Nova family, if your secondaries are not opening, instead of fighting the suspect cable, it could be just that simple fix. Uh, just get the correct cable. Like I said, I went down to AutoZone. I looked up the part number, went on in, ordered it. Two days later, here we are. So, if you're considering fixing your, your cables and get full throttle acceleration, um, I highly recommend it. And I'll let you know uh, how it drives. Thanks again.